Hey guys, it's Kuyan, and I'm back making a video. It's about damn time. This is my third time trying to record this video because I don't know how to do audio. Go figure. I want to get a new mic and a new PC, but God help me, the just the cards are not there for that. But alas, I wanted to make a Mayhem 3 build video. Maybe some of you, uh, you want to know the best Mayhem 3 builds, best way to get loot, Mayhem 3 stuff. That's the whole premise of this video because you can't actually, you can't actually activate Mayhem 3 and shoot Vault Hunter play mode, playthrough, and the next like another playthrough. Although I guess you, if you wanted to use this for True Vault Hunter, you can. But True Vault Hunter is really not that hard, so you know, take that as you will. But I wanted to go through my loadout because it is, it is quite something. We'll go through all the skills, all the weapons, all the guardian stuff. You know, the whole the whole kit caboodle, the whole uh, the whole charade. So starting off, I run. Assault Rifle, Pistol, SMG Pistol. Uh, we have first up here is the Decaying Star Helix. Uh, great Doll Assault Rifle. This is the only good one I found legendary. Every other one I found is garbage. And this one puts in work, so uh, I highly recommend it. It swaps between fully automatic and semi-auto. And then this, this is full auto. And then uh, this is semi-auto. Different, Just different sights. Different reticles. Don't know why. That's the wrong button. But uh, I love it. It's good. The duck, I I'm a huge fan of Jacob pistols, so naturally the duck is pretty amazing. It does ridiculous damage. It has all benefits plus crit, ricochet, and then uh, you can spam it as fast as you can. But the the gimmick about the duck is that it fires sticky projectiles, and they explode shortly after. So it's pretty good. I highly recommend it. I think you can find this by beating either Tyrene or Troy, one of the two. I have found two of them relatively quickly within each other of like finding the first one gave away gave away the second one to a friend uh, it's a great pistol highly recommend it then we have the like only Malawan gun I like and then a, an SMG which is the binary star cutsman uh, great damage plus fire I'm a siren so this is a siren mayhem 3 build uh, on incendiary on top of incendiary Plus charge speed, it's anointed, which basically means uh, it just does extra shit. Uh, mostly on action skill end, so when my action skill ends, I get crit damage increased for by 20% for a short time. Consumes 2 ammo per shot, 20 mag size. I highly recommend this SMG. It's great. Uh, I have no complaints. Uh, it would be even better if it didn't consume 2 ammo per shot, but it's... N I usually hate guns that consume 2 ammo per shot, 3 ammo per shot, but... I look past this one for some reason because it's just so good. Then we have the Queen's Call. So the Queen's Call and the King's Call have this gimmick of... Well, you'll see the gimmick because I have footage later of a boss fight against Tyrene. But the Queen's Call and the King's Call are the fucking greatest Jacob's Pistols in this entire game. I love them. Uh, you might be looking at it it's like, Whoa, that's kind of shit, Kuyon. That's kind of that's garbage just looking at it. You know, not great damage and negative weapon damage. So what, what's the deal? I'll tell you the deal. It is a 6 mag size, consumes 3 ammo per shot, negative weapon damage, and only does 930. But, the King's Call and the Queen's Call have a gimmick where every critical hit returns 3 bullets to your mag magazine. Magazine. Jesus. And ricochets 3 bullets at the nearest enemy. So, Cove guns have a unlimited clip size, essentially. They only overheat. So technically, this thing has unlimited ammo so long as you're hitting crits. Like you'll never run out of ammo when you're shooting, when you sh when you're shooting, uh, as long as you're hitting crits, which is great for the Tyrene fight. It's great for the Troy fight, uh, Giga Mind, just stuff where you can land crits really easily. Or if you're dealing with a particularly annoying enemy, you can just phase lock him into place, and get crits on him. I uh, highly recommend you find this. Uh, Tyrene drops it. I don't know if anybody. If, I don't know if it's specific to Tyrene or if it's. Uh, you know, just random, but I've I've found King and Queen's Call mostly from, like, if not all, from Tyrene, so. And I have quite a few of them, I've give, given some away to my buddy. Great pistol, highly recommend you uh, use it. Then we have the Transformer as the shield. This is personal preference, there's probably a way better shield, I just like being immune to shock damage. This basically makes us a killable, can't do any damage unless he melees you, quite literally. Uh, so you're completely immune to shock damage and 40% chance to absorb bullets added into your ammo cap. 
Again, this is personal preference. I've had no issues with this shield, really. I like it. I like being immune to shock damage, and uh, it's, you know, it's cool. I like it. So that's this personal preference. The grenade mod, we got the money needle, money needler tracker. Uh, again, probably a better grenade mod out there that's way better than this one. I just like it because it gives me health back, plus grenade damage, plus it homes in on enemies, drop cash. But as you can see at my bottom right, I don't need extra cash. So that's just kind of a bonus. But uh, I just like it because it gives health back just in case I'm in a tight spot. Uh, the Atlas grenades are pretty great. I have no complaints. Uh, if you want to farm money really quickly, just find one of these, pretty much. Find one that drops cash. It's a great way to farm money. Uh, and was, I don't know if there is different class mods besides this carpet bombing elementalist one, but I all I find are carpet bombing elementalists. So this is the imbued carpet bombing elementalist. Firmly grasp it. This is the one I run. Uh, any other ones I found just don't have good benefits or just their shit. Uh, and this one seems to work out pretty good, plus pistol damage, so I'm alright with it. I like it. Take that for what it's worth. And then Loaded Last Stand, the, the artifact, plus 40 magazine size, regenerates 149 health, plus area of effect, and it gives temporary invulnerability when you drop below 50%. So it's pretty cool. I like it a, a lot. I used to run an artifact that gave me like extra money ammo and grenades I think maybe just extra like extra drops but I don't need money so it's fine and the grenade gives me money as is so if I really need money I have all my STUs upgraded so but yeah this artifact plus the 40 bank size it brings the 6 up to a 9 on the queens it brings the 20 up to a 31 on the binary star cutsman it brings a 4 to a 5 on the duck and a 24 to I believe a 38 being star helix so pretty good I like it it works out for me I like the setup I have no complaints really yeah I, I just like it I'm like maybe I can find a better shield one day maybe and then stuff in my backpack we got the dastardly bowie ranger dastardly bowie ranger masher iron willed bowie ranger so basically all like different versions of the same gun the more lineage lineage uh, cove gun haven't used it can't really comment on it uh, I mostly just use Jacob's pistols throughout my entire playthrough of this game. Uh, we have the Itchy Boring Gun, Anointed. I haven't used this. I think I just got it recently too, so maybe it's good. I don't know. Feel free to let me know. Uh, Dastardly Maggie. I used a version of this gun through my casual playthrough of this game. Uh, it was pretty good. I liked it. Uh, I don't like shotguns in this game because uh, there's so little ammo, especially with Theodore shotguns, where they just throw ammo like crazy. But the Speed Load and Hellwalker, highly recommend it. If you like shotguns, find this one. That's not just the Jacobs fanboy in me. It is a, it is genuinely a really good shotgun. Uh, Burning Flacker, another new one I acquired. Haven't used it. Can't really comment on it. It consumes 5 ammo, five ammo per shot in a 17 mag size. So I might not use it. Who knows? Again, if it's good, you can let me know. Uh, Double Penetrating Gratifying Laser Sploder. I use this a lot in my casual playthrough and then in like going and dropping into friends games uh, I highly recommend this not for mayhem 3 but just for casual playthrough mayhem 1 and then if you farm bosses without mayhem uh, this as well uh, it's just a really good beam gun it just fires like a huge beam of ice and it's it's really good King's Call, The Queen's Call, and The Queen's Call and The Queen's Call all of these are the same varying different damages. They all do the same gimmick of like bottomless clips with crits. Uh, some do more uh, like negative weapon damage, stuff like that, different uh, sight attachments, different reticles. Uh, yeah, they're, they just basically all do the same function. They just do have different uh, attributes like this one does radiated, this one does... Um, I never remember the proper term. I always call it caustic damage. This one does shock. So. Highly recommend you try and find this pistol. I found five of these. Six of these, actually. I gave one away. I found six of these from fighting Tyreen, so... Your odds are pretty in your favor, considering I can't find the bitch right now. Uh, which is what Tyreen is dropping, because it is, like, boss week. Quick Jaw Unforgiven. Uh, solid damage, plus 300 crit damage. I mean, just looks like a really solid pistol. Haven't used it yet. Haven't experimented with it. That's a decoration. Oh, two decorations. I don't have. Uh, Siren's good, I already own. 
Uh, the boring gun, again, haven't used it. Relatively new gun. If it's good, let me know. And then uh, the Raven, Ra Ravenous skin, which I already have. That's an RIP. Let's, yeah, that's it for my backpack, my loadout. Uh, Guardian, that's all personal preference. I just maxed out my Hunter. I believe these are all the same for every character anyway. So, I just maxed out this one at first. It seemed really good, increased luck. And then I dumped all of my Guardian tokens into increased luck. Luck, r luck drop rate. Uh, Tag and Frag was really good when Porcelain Pie Bomb was broken. I miss Broken Porcelain Pie Bomb. My god, it was so good. But all that is, like... All that is yours to, like, whatever you want to dump it in. There's no real, like, oh, this is what you should dump it in. And that's all personal preference. And this is the Hellcat build for the Siren. Uh, I'll leave, like, a thing in the description of, like, all the typeouts if you want to just read it instead of the video. We have uh, maxed out an Anima. Anima? Anima? This one, the Hourglass. Maxed out Steady Hands. Uh, 4 to 5 in Infusion, the reason it's blue is because the class mod brings it up by 1, so that's why it's maxed out, but it's 4 to 5 otherwise. 4 to 5 in Tempest, 1 to 5 in Wildfire due to the class mod. Dread, maxed out. Uh, Indiscriminate, maxed out. Deep Well, maxed out. Catharsis, 1 out of 3. Maxed out Sustament. Susten su sustainment? Sustainment, probably. Not Sustainment. Uh, forceful expression maxed out, and then the three action skills that we run the augment element and action skill is uh, ties that bind, allure, and soul fire. Pretty simple. Uh, you'll be mostly like you'll be doing incendiary damage as your element whenever you shoot or melee or whatever grenade. So that is the primary damage you are doing uh, effect rather. Uh, two out of five in root to rise maxed out personal space. Two out of five in arms deal maxed out helping hands. Uh, maxed out mindfulness, maxed out one with nature, and then maxed out guardian angel. Guardian angel just basically gives you a second wind before your second wind. Say you go down, and you get right back up. And then for 120 seconds, boom, that passes. Then you get guardian angel again. You go down, you go right back up. Highly recommend it. It is a great ability. Uh, super good. And then your last skill point, violent tapestry. Uh, and then it's two out of five because of the class mod. So yeah. I'll, uh, I'll leave all of this in the description, uh, if it at all it's confusing, I'll leave names. Uh, the, I'll need like, like, the name of the class bot and all that. So uh, yeah, that is my build, the, the Endgame Hellcat build. It is super good, I love it, no complaints. The build I had before was mostly just like, hey, this sounds good. Me using my dumb brain. Uh, didn't work out so well, so this is, uh, this is a very strategic build within mine. So I, I love it, it gets the job done, no complaints. Uh, it's really good. I know uh, that is that is all from me, I I believe so. Uh, yeah. Oh, God. There's deep nebula. Uh, yeah. If you have any, uh, you know, if you have any questions, I can try to answer them to the best of my ability. If you want to know anything, just leave a comment. And uh, yeah, I think for the most part, I found everything, like the duck, the binary, and the queen's call from either Troy or Tyrene. The queen and the king are definitely from Tyrene maybe the binary Stark, and then I think the decaying Stark Helix is like random for like one of the other bosses like Gigamind or something. So yeah, uh, you know, if you if, if you like the video, if you enjoy the video, like the video, leave a like, comment, all that good shit. Again, if you have any questions, you know, just leave them in the comment section, I'll try my best. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, include the footage of killing Tyreen on Mayhem 3, just so you can get an idea of what you're getting yourself into on Mayhem 3. Uh, that's all for me. And uh, hope you enjoyed. See you later, guys.